Hello everyone, myself Soumya. Welcome to Case and Pharma Tutorials. Today we are going to study about synthesis of mefenamic acid. Mefenamic acid is comes under the therapeutic category of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs that is nothing but anocytes. Okay, now under the class of N-aryl anthranilic acid. Okay, so this is the general structure of anthranilic acid. Okay, so replacement of one of the hydrogen and substitute dimethyl benzene that is called as mephanemic acid. Okay, next let us give the numbering to the mephanemic acid structure. Okay, numbering starts from the acidic group that is carboxylic acid. So this is number one, this is number two. Okay, so in second position it is attached with an dimethyl groups okay this is number one this is two this is three okay so dimethyl groups attach at an two comma three position so it is called as two comma three dimethyl phenyl okay now amino benzoic acid okay so next uses mainly use it to relieve mild to moderate pain next use it to decrease pain and blood loss from menstrual periods okay next coming to the synthesis okay the starting material is ortho chlorobenzoic acid and the second starting material is 2 comma 3 dimethyl aniline how to remember this starting materials first we have to clearly observe the main structure okay i have to cut the structure in between carbon and nitrogen we already discussed uh, whenever a bond break between carbon and nitrogen always add hydrogen to the hetero atom and always add leaving group to the carbon okay so in this reaction i will take leaving group as chlorine okay so it is an aromatic ring which contains COOH group and this carbon is attached with that chlorine. Okay. So, that is called as orthochlorobenzoic acid. Okay. So, and second starting material, I will add hydrogen to the nitrogen. This is NH2. Okay. So, dimethyl aniline. Okay. So, second starting material is 2 comma 3 dimethyl aniline. Okay. So, this is upon reaction with cupric oxide, okay, heating up to 7 hours with anhydrous potassium carbonate, okay. So, in this reaction, this chlorine and this H, HCl is eliminated, okay. Upon reaction with potassium carbonate, this uh, hydrogen is replaced with an potassium and eliminates potassium bicarbonate, okay. So, finally, this nitrogen is directly attached to this position and this hydrogen is replaced with the potassium and finally forms an intermediate compound okay so this intermediate compound upon reaction with an dilute hcl okay so h plus n cl minus okay so this coo minus n k plus this k plus n cl eliminates as an KCl and directly this H plus is attacked to COO minus and forms an COOH. Okay, so finally we get our desired product that is mephanemic acid. Next, mechanism of action. Okay, so mephanemic acid is non selective COX inhibitor. Okay, so it directly inhibits the COX enzymes that is both COX1 and COX2 and inhibit the synthesis of arachidonic acid to prostaglandin conversion. Okay, so finally inhibits the inflammation responses. Okay, thank you.